Good day, my dear students. I am teacher Marian. Welcome to Science 9 Tutorials, where learning is made easy and fun. A remarkable place where you can see different forms of life. It is the perfect place to live in. However, this past few decades, we are currently experiencing an increase in average global temperatures. What is the effect of the continuous warming of the planet? Can you guess? The answer is climate change. Good job! As our previous lesson, Climate is the average course of weather conditions for a particular location over a period of many years. But what causes the climate to change? Climate do change, yet they just change very slowly over hundreds or even thousands of years. Long before, scientists had observed changes in the climate due to natural phenomena such as volcanic eruption and solar activity. However, drastic changes were observed in the climate, and it all boils down to human activities. It all started in the beginning of the Industrial Revolution in 1700s, where people started building infrastructures, using vehicles for transportation, cutting of trees, and producing chlorofluorocarbon products. These are the main contributors to climate change. So, to reiterate, climate change occurs when changes on Earth's climate system result in new weather patterns that remain in place for an extended period of time. This length of time can be as short as a few decades to as long as millions of years. Scientists have identified many episodes of climate change during Earth's geological history. More recently, since the Industrial Revolution, the climate has increasingly been affected by human activities in driving global farming. Let's take a look at how greenhouse effect occurs. First, a solar radiation reaches Earth's atmosphere, some of it is reflected back into space. The rest of the sun's energy is absorbed by the land and the oceans, heating the Earth. Heat radiates from Earth towards space. Fourth, some of this heat is trapped by greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, keeping the Earth warm enough to sustain life. Next is human activities such as burning fossil fuels, agriculture, and land clearing are increasing the amount of greenhouse gases released into the atmosphere. And lastly, this is trapping extra heat and causing the Earth's temperature to rise, or known as global warming. Greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and chlorofluorocarbons are the major culprits of global warming. And where does it come from? Burning fossil fuels that we use for electricity and transportation releases carbon dioxide. The amount of methane, a potent greenhouse gas produced by decomposing plant and animal, is also increasing. Increased amount of methane in Earth's atmosphere are usually linked to agricultural development and industrial technology. As economies grow, Population consume more goods and throw away more materials. Large landfills filled with decomposing waste release tons of methane into the atmosphere. Chlorofluorocarbon. These chemicals are used in refrigeration and aerosol sprays. Many countries are working to phase out this product. If we continue to release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, 
there are consequences. One of the major consequences are species extinction. The loss of habitat for species is a direct effect of climate change, resulting to a growing need for species to adapt to a changing world. Many species will not be able to redistribute themselves fast enough to keep up with the coming changes. These species, as far as we know, given present knowledge, may well become extinct. The rise of sea level. Climatologists worry that the global temperature will increase so much that ice caps will begin melting within the next several decades. This would cause the sea level to rise. Coastal areas, including many low-lying islands, would be flooded. Severe climate change may bring more severe weather patterns, more hurricanes, typhoons, and tornadoes. More precipitation would fall in some places and far less in others. Regions where crops now grow could become deserts. Aside from the consequences mentioned above, we also have the two climatic cyclical events, El Nino and La Nina. El Nino is an abnormal and lengthy warming in the eastern part of the Pacific Ocean. Normally, when trade winds move from east to west, they collect warm air. But when trade winds are weakened, they cause piling up of warm surface water and making the part of the Pacific Ocean warmer, leading to the El Nino phenomenon. This happens when the boiling of colder water is blocked by the large quantities of warm surface water. Since the Pacific Ocean is to the east of the Philippines, the El Nino phenomenon will affect the country. When there is an increase of temperature in the eastern part of the Pacific Ocean, it is expected that some areas in the Philippines will experience this climatic phenomenon. El Nino will most likely bring severe drought. It is believed that it causes stronger thunderstorm disturbance and massive storms. It also causes the decrease in the population of some species. While La Nina is a natural phenomenon, it is triggered by the cooling of the eastern part of the Pacific Ocean. That is why it is sometimes called Cold Pacific. Several conditions that occur during La Nina phenomenon include trade winds that move from east to west are strengthened, upwelling of colder water intensifies, and precipitation or rainfall is experienced. There would be an increase of rainfall in some areas in the Philippines. La Nina's effects are floods, soil erosion, landslides, waterborne disease like leptospirosis, and others. The temperature will continue to rise unless preventive steps are taken. Most climatologists agree that we must reduce the amount of greenhouse gases released into the atmosphere. There are many ways to do this, including reduce carbon emission by driving less, use public transportation, carpool, walk, ride, or a bike, fly less, Airplanes produce huge amount of greenhouse gas emissions. Support alternative energy sources that don't burn fossil fuels such as solar power and wind energy. Use less electricity by making sure you have energy efficient houses and appliances. Plant a tree. Trees absorb carbon dioxide, keeping it out of the atmosphere. Say no to plastics and chlorofluorocarbons products. And of course, don't forget the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Eat less meat. Cows are one of the biggest methane producers. It is very important for us to be watchful. Let's help the future generation to enjoy the things we have today. Aim for sustainable development.